Steve? John. Mm. Okay. So long, big guy. Thank you. Hey. Anything you want to call us. Right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Just give me cue cards next time. Right? <laughs> Melvin, Snurdly, and Birdman. Meet. <laughs> All right. Okay. In New Chicago. Chicago. How's that? You to forgive me, Chicago. I'll come out with it at some point. That was last year, right? Four. Yeah. Yeah. In three. Yeah. It's now the searcher. A fascinating show returns to the air on NBC on Thursday, January 15th with a two-hour premiere for the season. The show, of course, Buck <laughs> Rogers and the stars, Gil Gerard, and the new character on the show this year, Tom Christopher as Hawk. And Tom, we'll start with you. And that We saw some screenings last night here, yes. uh, your character, Hawk, and we're really excited about the feathers and the, and the role. Tell us about Well, you're all at a great advantage. <laughs> Gil saw it last night also. I, I haven't seen it. I, I see it tonight, so I'll know how it all comes together. You're not bad. Uh, no, I no. make it. He really makes me work. I mean, he really makes me work. Makes me look good. I know it. Uh, Frank, uh, the character of Hawk, uh, as put into the show now, is part man, part bird, and it's uh, based upon anthropological legend of the bird people of Easter Island. Hmm. And without you know going into great detail, uh, there were at one time, as legend has it and indications in hieroglyphics, hieroglyphics etc., of... Uh, petroglyphs. Uh, the petroglyphs of... Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. She does this to me all the time. The petroglyphs. Uh, <laughs> it's of, his show. <laughs> my show. It's not called Buck Hawk. It's, it's I get to do that, you know? <laughs> it's not called Buck and Birdman in the 20th century, you know? There... <laughs> well, that's a very important point, because I am 500,000 years out of sync uh, and put into the 25th century as a bird man, and the indication of my bird's bird presence being uh, a headpiece that I wear. Oh, you mentioned yes. the feathers. It's magnificent. It's an incredible yeah. headpiece, yeah. That, so they do uh, one every show for him. They have to make it. Have, every every uh, feather is put in individually in that headpiece. Because the feathers molt. Why? Yeah. The fo feathers molt after about yeah. oh, one week of just handling it. So he keeps uh, taking it. So he, people used to say that, and I'd say because he molts. <laughs> no, I thought he was laughing. So my joke. But yeah. <laughs> uh, Gil, uh, in the screening, there was uh, someone in the spacecraft with you behind you that also seemed to have. Uh, oh, that was the that was his woman. That's Corey. my wife, Barbara Luna. Right. Okay. Is, well, not his wife, Barbara Luna, but his no, wife. No, my wife, Corey. <laughs> who, Corey who plays you got to start Barbara Luna. Excuse me. Yeah. Ruin her life and yours, <laughs> and your wife will divorce you. And the whole the poor bird people. Yeah. Yeah. Gil is a hawk, an adversary of Buck Rogers, or he begins as an adversary. He begins we are we are um, mortal enemies in a way. I mean, Buck really isn't that committed to destroying him, but he is the scourge of the universe. He has sworn vengeance against all humans because. Uh, they have virtually eradicated all of his people from the face of the galaxy. So uh, I've been sent to stop this man because he is just tearing up everything. So um, what happens is that Buck begins to see the rage and where it comes from and becomes sympathetic to the man and, and respects him. Still bound by his duty, he must bring him in and put a stop. But, but the problem then becomes not for Buck to, to kill him or to have him put away but to try to take this negative energy and turn it to something positive. That's really what Buck is trying to do in the first mm -hmm. show. And a very moving uh, moment, I mean, just to me, on my, it being my first show introduced yes. in, the, in, the, in the show, uh, Gil has a, I don't want to reveal plot line, but he has an incredible monologue that he does. No, I didn't want to hurt Tell him all, that's It's an incredible <laughs> monologue that he does at the end, in my defense. And people have said, well, John Madley, our executive producer, who wants to keep the humanistic attitudes really going in all the scripts yes. without losing the, the fantasy because right. it's all there but it's all motivated from this humanistic thing he wants Gill defends the hawk and he has a very magnificent line and I have based the relationship on that line because after he finished it the crew all of us just applauded he did it in one take and it went on it's basically four pages long but the monologue itself is two pages straight that he just didn't stop and it Dynamite. Was very very beautiful out of that just evolved yes I realized at that moment my god that is the relationship a good show gets better Gil yes. Gerard Tom Christopher yes. thank you very thank much you. we'll look thank forward you. to it thank okay. you Frank this is Frank Bassoni in Los Angeles no you're oh. in Peoria <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>